Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. If you don't know me, I've been flying camera drones and FPVs for about six years now. I've got a few of those drones up behind me here in the studio. So the DJI Avada 2 launched earlier today, and you've probably already watched a bunch of videos from bigger channels explaining all the features and the benefits of this new drone, as I did. And I'm going to do something a little different today and explain why I've decided not to buy the Avada 2. Now, like many of you, I was excited to see this new drone in action and what DJI would bring to the table this time around. However, after watching a few videos this morning, I've decided not to buy this new drone and I'm going to tell you exactly why. So let's jump right into this. Okay, first, I already own the original Avada and I've already made some modifications to mine to give me better image quality. In short, I've got mine hardwired so I can mount a GoPro 10 bones directly on top of it. And if you've seen the image quality between the newer GoPro cameras and the original Avada, well, then you know the newer GoPro action cameras produce a better image quality and stabilization over the built-in camera, at least on the original Avada drone. And based on that and the videos that I've seen this morning, the newer camera in the Avada 2, even though it's better than the original Avada camera, is still not what I'm going to call significantly better or enough of an improvement, at least for me, to spend my money on the newer Avada 2. And again, I'm talking about me specifically. Clearly, the camera built into the new Avada 2 is an improvement and quite closely matches all the specs of the DJI Osmo Action 4 camera, which has a really nice image quality. Now, for me personally, the image or the video quality is the primary or main reason that I would or wouldn't buy the newer Avada 2. It's just not a big enough jump or improved image quality for me personally to justify the additional cost. So that was the first reason. The second reason, there's no backward compatibility, at least not at this time, the release date of the Avada 2 on April 11th, meaning I would need to purchase the new DJI Goggles 3, the new RC Motion 3, or the DJI FPV Remote Controller 3 to use the Avada 2. The Avada 2 will only work with the DJI RC Motion 3 and the DJI FPV Remote Controller 3 on the initial release date. Additionally, the Avada 2 will only work with the DJI Goggles 3 again at this time. Now that being said, of course, DJI may do a firmware update or some sort of backward compatibility down the road. Just know it could be a few months before we see that happen, at least based on my past experience with DJI products. So having to buy a totally new controller, new goggles to use the Avada 2 doesn't make me very happy as an existing DJI Avada owner. Okay, reason number three. The Avada 2 does not shoot video in 24 frame per second. Now, to be fair, the original Avada didn't shoot 24 frame per second either. It would, however, have been nice if DJI had added 24 frame per second to the Avada 2 at this release. So for a lot of folks, this could be a big issue depending on their workflow and trying to incorporate the Avada 2 footage into their 24 frame per second timeline in their editing software. When you drop a 20 frame per second video into a 24 frame per second timeline, there's a difference in frame rates and the timeline will play at 24 frame per second, but the video clip is intended to play back at 30. So this can lead to duplicate frames or frames dropping, causing jerky playback in your video timeline. Okay, reason number four, object avoidance is limited. The Avada 2 does have what's called advanced positioning, which enables downward and backward visual positioning during low altitude and indoor flights, enhancing flight stability and safety. But again, those sensors are for positioning and not for object avoidance. So downward facing sensors are for positioning only, and one more time, not for object avoidance. So I'm sure some people are gonna run into that problem as soon as they buy this drone. They're gonna be running into some stuff. So I just wanna make that very clear. So for me personally, this isn't a make it or break it feature for me, just something worth mentioning. Reason number five, obviously cost. Plain and simple, this drone isn't cheap, very expensive. As of the release day for the Avada 2, it's gonna cost you anywhere from $999, they say a thousand bucks, for the Avada 2 Fly More Combo single battery and up to $1,199 or 1.2,000 for the Avada 2 Fly More Combo with three batteries. And if I add in the FPV Remote Controller 3, a micro SD card, Avada 2 ND filters were somewhere close to $1,500 US. So for the type of flying that I do, I could go out and purchase a pre-built find and fly FPV drone for much less. And I already have several existing controllers that will work with a new find and fly drone. Now, to be fair, 
I should mention that the Avada 2 is quieter than the original Avada. The Avada 2 comes in around 81 decibels, I believe. The original Avada was somewhere closer to 83. Some people reported 85. So it's definitely quieter, has a different pitch, sounds much more pleasing to the ear. And yes, the Avada 2 does have a better sensor for better low light performance. But again, it's just not a big enough jump or difference in picture quality for me to run out and purchase the Avada 2. And to be fair, if I didn't already own the original Avada, then the Avada 2 would go on my purchase list. It's absolutely a better drone than the original Avada, hands down. It has a ton of upgrades over the original Avada. It's lighter than the original, more agile in the air, has more user-friendly features, allowing newer flyers to do 360-degree front backflips as well as rolls and what they call drifts. It's just not for me because of the reasons I stated above, and mainly because I own the original Avada and just don't feel like the improvements are significant enough for me personally to run out and buy this new drone just because it's the newest product released by DJI. And at the end of the day, use your own judgment. No one else can tell you this. No one can tell you with absolute certainty that one drone is better than another because they don't know your experience level, what your needs are, what your price ranges may be. All those factor into your purchasing decision. I'm just letting you know where I stand right now as of the release date for the Avada 2 drone. Who knows, my opinion may change a month down the road, a few months down the road. It may change after a few firmware updates from DJI with some more backward compatibility going in. That would maybe change my mind. Maybe the pricing comes down quite a bit. It's a lot to consider. So I hope you got some value out of this video. And if you made it this far, please don't forget to give this video a like if you got any value out of it. It's always appreciated. That's it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Enjoy the Avada 2 if you are purchasing it.